In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to perform a spinopalatine ganglion block. Ensure the patient has the appropriate indication for a spinopalatine block, is consented and does not have any contraindications such as allergies to local anesthetic or nasal trauma. The equipment required includes two hollow-tipped cotton swabs, local anesthetic to topicalize the nose, and local anesthetic to perform the block. Saturate the hollow tipped cotton swabs with local anesthetic and ensure that you can inject local anesthetic down the swabs. Position the patient so the head is relaxed and topicalize the nose with local anesthetic. Insert the cotton tip swabs aiming posteriorly and slightly superiorly as the sphenopalatine ganglion lies posterior to the middle concha. Once you have encountered the posterior nasopharyngeal of the pharyngeal wall, you will feel resistance. This is showing the same insertion again from a different angle. Before injecting local anesthetic, ensure that you're against the posterior nasopharyngeal wall. Slowly inject the local anesthetic through the swab. Small amounts of local anesthetic will leak out. You can repeat this every five minutes, leaving in the contact swabs for 30 minutes and then remove. 